There's a new Ram pickup on the market, the 1500. Ram is a standalone division of Fiat Chrysler Automobiles. Ram already has two larger models in Australia. Although the 1500 is smaller than the other two, it is still big. So where does it fit into the Australian market? As more and more people buy utilities, it's harder to stand out from the crowd. As caravans and boats get bigger and weighed down with more features, some owners are pushing the limits of the towing capacity of the traditional utility that dominates the segment. And having a dual cab is a very popular choice among ute buyers, but you compromise the space for the rear seat passengers and the room for carrying loads. So here is an opportunity for the bigger American pickups. The Ram 1500 is not a rough and tough off-roader. It has four-wheel drive, but it is not aimed for bush bashing, rather for big jobs, and it makes a power statement. Operating modes can include two- or four-wheel drive, and it has a low range in four-wheel drive. It's 5.8 metres long and a little over 2 metres wide. It has a 5.7 Hemi V8 petrol engine with 291 kilowatts and 556 newton metres. All this grunt goes through an 8-speed automatic gearbox. Depending on the final diff ratio, it can tow up to 4.5 tonnes. That's one tonne better than the best of the traditional utes on the market. Ram Australia claims a fuel consumption figure of 9.9 litres per 100 kilometres combined cycle, which seems pretty good for a large petrol engine V8. It is assumed that this would be measured with the tallest diff ratio. The fuel economy is helped by active grille shutters, which only allow the right amount of cool air to enter the engine bay. This means more consistent engine temperatures, faster warm-up from cold starts, and less aerodynamic drag. It has two body styles and two trim equipment levels. There is the Express, that comes with what they call a quad cab. There are two rows of seats, but the space in the back is a little cramped, and you sit upright with a straight back. But then again, this is similar to most dual cab utes on the market, and with the Ram, you get a tray that is a tad over 1.9 metres long, which is 6 foot 4 inches in the old measure. It has a 912 kilogram payload in the tub. The Laramie upmarket model comes with what Ram calls a crew cab. This seats five people with a lot of comfort and with a lot of legroom in the back. The rear tray is 1.7 metres or 5 foot 7 inches, with an 885 kilogram tub payload. The back of a utility is not always that useful if you have objects that can roll around. An option for the 1500, as for other Ram models, is the Ram box, which has two 240 litre lockers on either side of the tub that may be used as secure storage or as part of ice-filled cool boxes. On the bigger Ram models, 30% of Australian customers have taken this option. This compares to less than 15% of American buyers. Perhaps in Australia, we are currently selling to the practical end of the market, when America sells more to those who want to just look good. The Ram 1500 has been refined for Australian conditions. It's built in North America and then remanufactured on a brand new state-of-the-art production line in Melbourne. This includes making it right-hand drive. The base model Express has a range of features including side steps, 20-inch alloy wheels, bed liner sprayed in, and safety features including front, rear, side and curtain airbags, stability control, traction control and trailer sway control. But it does not include autonomous emergency braking. There is cruise control but it's not adaptive, there is parking sensors on the rear, tyre pressure monitoring and cloth seats. The air conditioning is manual. For the upmarket Laramie, add in a number of extras including front parking sensors, adjustable pedals, rain sensing wipers, sat nav, heated and ventilated front seats. I particularly like the ventilated bit. 
heated rear seats, climate control air conditioning and a remote start. The Express, which has a quad cab, has a driveway price of $80,000. The Laramie, which has a crew cab, is $100,000 plus on-road costs. The Rambox is an additional $4,450 and there is a wide range of other extras you can get. They come with a 3-year or 100,000 kilometre warranty, 3 years roadside assistance and the service intervals are 12 months or 12,000 kilometres. So, who will use it? The tradie who needs to carry or tow some relatively heavy equipment, people with recreational activities that require large apparatus, such as a big boat or a sizeable horse float. One suggestion was a diving company that has to take a decompression chamber out to a variety of sites. The owner and or manager that wants a vehicle that announces their presence or the holidaying couple or family who wants to tow as big a caravan as they can. With an advertising slogan of Eats Utes for Breakfast and a desire to make Ram the Harley Davidson of Utes, it is obvious that they see the vehicle as providing a strength of character that is undermined for the smaller utilities on the market that are becoming more common.